What's up, it's Jcats, and in this video I want to show you guys my Oki setup that I always use in matches. Um, if you watch my, um, my uh, cute little series, uh, Road to Vanquisher, you'll see me uh, doing this setup a lot. Um, so I just wanted to explain it uh, to you guys. Um, this is going to be raw footage, no editing, because I'm not about that life. I wish I was, but man's on a budget, you know, because I know. Do you know, because I know. <laughs> okay, um, so the first thing you need for this setup is you need your outfit to slay, just like mine, you know. Got them shades, just in case a bitch wanna act shady and throw some unsafe shit on your block. You just be like, I'm having none of that. So, I already recorded the setup. Um, so, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a launcher, uh, tailspin or back forward 2. In my case, uh, the launcher will be bare twin pistons, which is down forward 2 1. Um, tailspin with back forward 2. Then do back, to, back 2 1 into hunting bear stands down 1 plus 2. Into hunting bear stands down forward 1. And I'm going to tack roll. Uh, and what will happen? It, what will happen is the downfall one, the hunting, hunting bear stands downfall one will whiff, and it creates a little setup, uh, a little mix-up, which I'm going to show you right now. So I'm meshing, meshing tack. Yeah. So I blocked there. So what, so what happens is the downfall one will whiff, but panda will be a plus seven. So if you're if you're a bear player and you use this setup, you'll be a plus seven of frame advantage. So that means that if I press any button afterwards, after the tech, I will get hit by the F1 plus two. Like I'm going to spam while for, while standing four, I get I get hit. Uh, Lee's while standing three is ten frame, so that will clash. But you, as you can see, Panda will still get the combo. It will trade but you still get the combo because F1 plus 2 is 18 frames you're plus 7 so that will trade um, I think it's 70 frames, I don't know anyways it will trade uh, so yeah, how do how do you avoid this? if you're facing this oh You can tack and block. That's where the other setup, the other thing comes in handy. So it will be a little mix up. Which is the r, &R grab. So if I, I try to mash uh, while standing four, but if I block like do nothing like I did against the F1 plus 2, the r, &R grab will grab me and I need to throw break, which is 1 plus 2. Uh, r, r is 11 frames, so I can still mix it up with a 1 plus 3 grab or 2 plus 4, which is a 1, one or 2 break, um, in which they have to guess or watch hands. Um, so you don't always have to go for an r, &R a grab, but I always do because it's the most damaging one. And you can buffer it very easily from the whiff down for 1. So if you use down fault one, you just buffer the uh, HCB <laughs> and uh, then press F1 plus two. Uh, and even if you stay ground, you can delay your F1 plus two and it will hit them grounded. Like I will show you later, but you can, um, anyways, sh to make a long story short, you can buffer the, the r, &R grab um, from the width down fault one. Uh, it's the same thing here. I can't mash. Oh, I can't mash any buttons. It's an upper frame. He's a plus seven. I can do nothing. Not even uh, a dig jab. I tried to mash uh, two, two, three, which is his ten frame counter hit um, string. Like a, a dig jab will hit that. My bad. A dig jab will hit that, and the reason why a dig jab will hit that is because it's 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 in crouch. So 
The grab can be avoided by doing crouch moves or by ducking. Um, but if they duck or do a crouch move, they will get hit by the F1 plus 2 and that's why this is a mix-up. They have to guess. They can't be, like, if they want to press buttons like they're in some elevator, <laughs> it's not gonna work, man. It's not gonna work. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys what will happen if I stay grounded. Like, you got those people that like to like to act like they're in the Law and Order episode and play that all the time, just to avoid mix-ups. Like, no, homeboy, that's not that's not working. Because if I stay grounded, I'll get hit as well. So it's either a win-win situa situation for you. Like, if they stay grounded, you can even you don't even have to do the F1 plus two. You can if they if they continue to stay grounded, you can use your rage drive or do one plus two, one plus two, one plus two, or down one plus two. You can um, do ground hitting moves back one, and they'll still still take damage for it. So they'll think twice about uh, staying grounded or not. Like, and if they tech crawl, they have to deal with the F1 plus 2 or the RNR grab uh, mix up. So yeah, um, okay, so this, is, uh, this was a quick tutorial about my setup. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just ask. And if you like this, uh, this, this voiceover thing, let me know as well. I know it's a bit ghetto. <laughs> But I can't help it, man. So, peace.